Hello everybody, I'm Peter Glob and today I'm giving you my thoughts on just how dangerous is Magic Kyo in Dragon Super Eternal of Power. Now first thing, yes, I know he's been eliminated. Just me, I'm, as much as I don't like this idea, I am going to address, yes, he is eliminated. So what? So is Master Roshi, and no one's gonna be debating if he's more powerful than Krill uh, and Tien. I mean, just because he's been eliminated, that doesn't mean I should make a video how just how dangerous he was in the turn of power. So, so I just said how dangerous is, not how dangerous was in turn of power. I mean, just general how dangerous he is. No, as we all know. Magikaro is made of liquid metal, metal which really is, is quite tough if you think about it. I mean, Super Saiyan Goku wasn't able to restrain him. Hell, with him, you, he actually screaming at the tops of him of the lamps, saying, Just go Super Saiyan Blue already! Oh, Super Saiyan God! That was pretty much the only way that he could, Goku could escape. So his liquid metal, so he can definitely restrain some a powerful opponent. And considering how easily he uh, he went against Dispo, who is one of the most strong Universe Eleven fighters, possibly the first. But considering how he's been shown, yeah, I wouldn't be saying that he is the fact. First strongest. I mean, hell, I haven't heard ne no one of these gods even a little bit praising Dispo. Seriously, at most I heard saw Universe Six gods being worried about the fact that he's able to fight his time capability. That's the most I've seen from him being praised. So Magikaya doesn't seem like he needs to be worrying about this for what so flipping ever. So definitely strong enough to go against Super Saiyan Goku and find find then then this pop and winning in that fact pretty well and possibly even being more dangerous than that. Because remember, the way that it happened, because we don't exactly know how he and his race works. Seriously, Dragon, seriously, Toy Animation, if you're going to at least try, if you're going to be releasing how these races work or anything, you exact really need to understand how Magikaru's race works. Or just his species or whatever, if he's the only one. Seriously, you do need to send this. Because we are curious. We all are. Now, yeah. He's... He's just... Uh, just a little drop of him for love. Which could mean that he's still... That he can still be in the tournament. Like, you know, get his other mental parts. Because his head does get bigger and smaller. So it would make sense that if there are any drops of him all in the arena... That he could, they could regenerate and form like a mindless monster or something. That'd be pretty cool. And remember, that wasn't exactly cheating. But since this isn't a prediction video, well, technically, with Magic Card, it cannot be a prediction video. I mean, only once we can make a prediction video for, for Universe 3 is the Pepperoni, Cactus Spray, and Biara. And yeah, the three. To free robots. No, yeah. Axana's prediction, he also doesn't seem to be that much weaker than all the rest fighters. I mean, seriously, if you compare him to some other fighters, he would have a good chance in beating them all. I mean, he could definitely take down Universe 10. So he could take down Universe 9. I mean, Universe 9 might be a little bit problem because of... Begao maybe? 
I don't know really. To be honest, he can take down most two teams. I mean, not full on full. Maybe he could, but maybe probably not. And quite a few others. I mean, he is also a really more tricky fighter. I mean, if GM wouldn't eliminate him, the only way they could possibly eliminate him would be because of Master Roshi's Mafuba. That's really the only way somebody could actually eliminate him. And considering how he basically has seemed to be completely realist, he could possibly beat them all. Really, he's one of these characters that gets defeated by a super powerful character, so pinpointing his power level is pretty hard. That's not to mention the fact that he might also have limited supply of energy, so... Yeah, he's a pretty strong fighter. So I would rank him be somewhere between Dragon Ball Z fighters, I would rank him Android 17's power level. I mean, no fans to 17 power levels, but if... He, if 17 or whoever is being considered to be the t from the top, sh from the strongest five from Universe 7, he the weakest, it, I would rank him there. Plus, there isn't really, really one else who is that much weaker than him. Now, I'm Peter Gop. I hope you liked this video. I hope you leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one in the future. See ya.